Today on Internet Marketing Pro, we're going to cover 100 inbound marketing content ideas. Are you legally minimizing your future tax burden and staying compliant in today's complex tax code? If not, our sponsor, Mishlu Consulting, has over 30 years of experience providing top quality professional services in accounting and tax preparation for a wide variety of clients like you. Whether you need tax return filing, planning, bookkeeping, financial statements, full service payroll, or a corporate or individual tax return, I personally use and highly recommend the services of Jeffrey Ressler CPA, whose phone number is 561 237 5264. That is 561 237 Five two six four. Thank you very much. And remember, you can always look to the audio video description of this post for names, phone numbers, and links and references made during this program. Or you can get them by visiting cdecker.com, chaddecker.com, or ezinegenerator.com anytime as well. Broadcasting from the great north woods lake region of southern Maine. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be across the nation and around the world. I'm your host, Chad Deckard, and welcome to our Internet Marketing Pro and EZGenerator.com podcast show. Our shows will cover how to grow your business as well as topics on tips, tricks, and techniques, digital lifestyles, the future of finance, entrepreneurism, and preeminent professional internet marketers. Thank you for tuning into our show as we begin this adventure together exploring many great things to come. Now, let's cover a few quick announcements before we get started. Like I always begin my shows, I really like to show my personal appreciation for all the feedback that we've been getting from you. What a difference it makes in motivating me to put these shows out and continually think of the next subject matter that we can explore together. We are always excited about helping us get more uh, subscribers and by subscribing yourself on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, Smart Radio, and many other syndicates. If you like our show and find it resourceful, please do your social network a favor and share, like, post, leave a comment, and subscribe to our show. Be sure to visit ezinegenerator.com and become a free member of our highly resourceful total online marketing presence community. You will gain instant exclusive access and insight to over thousands of over-the-shoulder training videos, articles, RSS feeds, to over 500 resource websites relating to topics like analytics, content, email marketing, mobile marketing, search engine optimization and management, social network marketing and management, traffic, articles, white papers, <laughs> podcast interviews of preeminent leaders, current events, and much, much more. Whew, that's a lot. But finally, be sure to review our past archive shows on iTunes, Stitcher Smart Radio, YouTube, and Zoom because we have plenty of topics and information that are totally free to you and to others and for you to share for all those who are aggregating content out there on the Internet and on your social networks. Now, let's get down to business. Well, hello. Uh, we're back again today. This is the third installment of 100 Inbound Marketing Content Ideas to get some more inspiration that I can give you in creating content that uh, will work. If you're running out of ideas, I'm your muse. Anyway, let's get started with uh, the content creation uh, recap. And that is that from tweets to blog posts to Facebook page wall posts, there's a lot of copy and messaging and engagements to push out to your audience. And this is why the inbound marketer's role is one that requires so much creativity. Content has to be timely, accurate, relevant, thoughtful, unpredictable, informative, and even funny. The same old content day in and day out can get a little stale and it'll lose your community engagement that you are after in the first place. So the question is, where do you come up with fresh ways to accomplish that seven days a week? And what do you do when you are just jump starting for the first time a social presence on Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest or whatever it may be? And what should your company be blogging about? I know we all get something that's called maybe a writer's block or inspirational block, but this list of ideas is meant to inspire the content that you create for your community. And it's broad and generic and focused, but it's not meant to focus too strictly on the technology that helps you carry out these ideas or offer something for everyone. But we hope that this brainstorming session will help you think of some fresh ideas on your own that's relative to your own subject matter. And so today... We're going to cover like 41 through 60, and like I said last week, we were going to cover Twitter content ideas and responding to followers. 
Yeah, number 42 is check your at replies regularly with the Twitter client and reply to your user questions. Okay, number 43, assign tweets to the appropriate team member who can answer the question if you cannot. Number 44 is offer to the uh, excuse me, offer to email with a community member if they have further questions, you know, get off the tweet and do it privately. 45, have a blog post answering FAQs that you can refer to and link to it regularly. Number 46, if you work in a regulated industry, pre-write 140 character responses to common questions that are pre-approved by stakeholders so that you can still engage in real time with those who are asking questions. That's pretty cool. We'll talk about saving time in your fingers, you know. Having predetermined answers for whatever it is is really not a bad practice. It's totally up my alley. And basically all it is is a cut and paste game. Number 47, at reply, someone, if you only want your followers who follow them to see the tweet. Use the dot at trick if you want all of your followers to see the tweet. Let me reply. Let me repeat that. At, at reply, someone if you only want your followers who follow them to see the tweet. Use the dot at trick if you want all of your followers to see the tweet. Did you get that? There's definitely a difference between at reply or dot at so that you can get more people to see the tweet. Make it, make it public. Number 48, if a conversation turns to a heated debate, know when to take it off of the at reply and use the direct messages. Number 49, thank people who comment on and share your blog posts. Number 50, thank people who share your webinars and ebooks. That's just common courtesy, absolutely. And number 51, Write as you would write in a regular conversation. Use emotions and exclamation points. Write in first person. Here's an example. I'm sorry, quote. Well, sorry. Okay, hold on. <laughs> quote, I'm sorry, quote. Or, quote, we're excited, quote. It shows that the actual human is being behind the Twitter account than it being totally automated. So, quote yourself. Or quote someone else. It uh, definitely has a more pop out, uh, more engaging type of uh, presence than just a flat line. It just blends right in with the rest of your text. All right, some other content ideas revolve around Twitter tools. And so the next few uh, points that we're going to cover revolve around the fact that you can find and follow your competitor followers using Follower Wonk. Follower Wonk is spelled F O L L O W E R W O N K, like Willy Wonka. Learn from them and tweet the type of content and hashtags that they care about. Number 53, use a separate Twitter app on your phone for your personal account and for your business account to avoid posting content meant for your personal account versus your business account. That makes only common sense. You don't want to mix the two. Business and pleasure just don't mix. 54. Add a UTM codes to your tweets to track your referring traffic from Twitter and Google Analytics. So, uh, you know, you can pull the UTM codes from your Google Analytics and you can track the different tweets and where they go. Um, that's pretty interesting. I didn't know that one. I, keep, I always forget that one. Number 55. If you're tweeting as part of a webinar or Twitter chat, kindly alert your followers and recommend that if they don't want to see your tweets to use the proxlet to mute you. And the proxlet, if I didn't get that across, is the P-R-O-X-L-E-T. So number 56, use social bro to identify demographic information about your Twitter followers. Learn factors like nationality and gender and participate in relevant holidays. Here's an example. Happy Boxing Day to our Canadian followers. And you would use that if you use social bro, that's S-O-C-I-A-L-B-R-O. And that is obviously a 
type of a, a program that you can go to that allows you, that basically consolidates all the information into a screen that shows you the world and dots all the uh, influence of your social network around the world. And that way you can identify and keep on track of what's going on in other countries and relate to those people a little bit more and engage them. Number 57, measure your click-throughs on the, the links that you share with bit.ly, which is a short link. Uh, replicate the kind of language you use in those tweets to increase engagement from your followers. And number 58, don't wait for Google Alerts. Maintain and monitor a Twitter list of the actual publications and companies that matter most to your industry and community. When news breaks about your industry, you'll be the first to share it. This builds authority. And uh, I've got two more to co co cover, and this is about sharing your content. This is the type of content. It's about sharing your content, just like we just got done talking about uh, Twitter tools. And um, number 59 is uh, post tweets of your blog posts. Use a variety of headlines and test what drives the most click-throughs. And finally, number 60 Schedule tweets of blog posts on the weekends, as people read on the weekends as well, too, as five days a week, but also post tweets of blog posts at night, as this target of people might be in a different time zone than your own. And uh, we've spoken about that uh, in previous episodes. If you go back to the archives, we talk about the relevancy of how to uh, tweet and uh, the fact that different time zones uh, really do matter and things are happening uh, uh, that somebody might not be getting the information on your time zone but might actually get it a few hours later just because of where they are in the day. So I would uh, totally represent the archives of our shows uh, and going back and checking out uh, a lot of that different content that we've produced in the past. So that's about it. I really appreciate you turning in for the third uh, installment of a five-part series on 100 Ideas the inbound marketing uh, content uh, ideas that you can create. So uh, I look forward to you to subscribing to the show. And I look forward to you obviously sharing any comments, suggestions, or just the show with your uh, social network and seeing if they would be interested in uh, tuning in to this type of content information. Bye-bye.